All right. Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, gamers. Welcome back to another Overwatch reaction. So, we have more news. We have another update from the Overwatch team about the new season. And I'm here to react to it. So, we've been hot on the heels of all the Overwatch news, albeit I am a little late. But that's the story of my life. So, we're going to see this bold claim on our screen right now. Introducing our most exciting season yet, Overwatch 2 Invasion. So this is where I kind of question things, because if you didn't see the other reactions, I'll basically summarize it like this. Season 5 is sort of, in a way, a filler season for Season 6, so I don't know if Invasion is Season 5 or Season 6. If it's Season 5, then I think Overwatch is just straight capping. If it's Season 6, then this kind of makes sense, because they say Season 6 is the big hoopla season with all the PvE stuff, all the cool stuff. So we're going to see. But um, if this is in Season 5, I feel like they're just straight up lying because, again, they said most of the stuff is coming in Season 6. That's actually good. So, let's see. I mean, obviously, they're not going to, like, you know, just outright, you know, write off Season 5. They're not going to put it in the dirt, you know, right as it's coming out. They're obviously going to try and sell it some way. But if they are trying to sell this in Season 5, it's a straight lie. But anyway, let's see what they're doing here. There's a new threat to the world as the invasion of Null Sector begins. The world is thrust into chaos. And it's up to a new generation of heroes to save the day. Overwatch 2 Invasion brings new story missions, an all-new PvP core game mode, and new ways to build on your skills with your favorite heroes, and yes, a new support hero. Holy shit. Find out how you can jump into the action with Overwatch 2 Invasion Ultimate Bundle. Oh, good lord. Already, already we can see Blizzard hard at work monetizing it. So this is where the sad part is. A lot of people after the PvE got like cut from the game, uh, or at least what was the PvE got cut from the game, a lot of people took Overwatch 2 as just a cash grab. Now, that's not all it was, although it is still that. It was also a way to revitalize the game because the game was kind of you know half dead from no content for how many years. So it wasn't just a cash grab, it was also like a resurrection but a resurrection with cash grab with it. So I can see they're straight up to their bullshit already by, well, you know, the first thing they mention here is the ultimate bundle. I wonder how much it's going to cost. But anyway, you can earn and collect new legendary skins and get a head start in the upcoming Null Sector themed premium battle pass. So this isn't even just the battle pass. This is just probably going to be even more because I know you could buy the battle pass and then you could buy a boost for the battle pass you could buy like battle pass tiers and that's not specific to overwatch i'm not going to knock them for that but it's a shitty practice in any game even in fortnite and i like to you know praise fortnite so it is what it is the rise of null sector begins with new story missions thank the fucking good lord no matter what happens like no matter like this or that with the um you know with all the controversy at the very least they're pushing forward the overwatch 2 story now i said this in my reaction video to um the whole cinematic i thought the cinematic was horribly written i thought it was bland it was dumb and it was so generic i really hope that was just for the trailer and like in the actual story it's not that cheesy and generic but you know we can't trust blizzard anymore we don't know anyway in zero hour we saw the rogue omnic group null sector invade paris it was thanks to winston tracer may and a handful of other heroes no one cares about that the city was saved from destruction however the global invasion has only just begun, even though Null Sector has been an issue forever. Null Sector is bringing utter destruction to every city and seems to have an ulterior motive to kidnap Omnix for an unknown purpose. So this is where I actually do kind of question the lore. As far as I know, Ramatra is the leader of Null Sector. And, you know, I, I being a Ramatra main myself, I'm very familiar with his lore. And I don't think he would do anything to hurt his fellow Omnix. Now, granted, is he abducting them to kind of save them? I could see that happening. I could see him trying to separate them from human society. In essence, the main thing I think about Ramatra is he's just Magneto. Like, he's literally, like, Zenyatta is, um, is Professor X. He's peaceful. He wants to coexist with them. And Ramatra is literally Magneto. Like, they love each other. They're enemies, kind of, but not really, at least in, in Overwatch. And, like, you know, Ramatra's definitely more violent with his methods. 
And it's funny too, because in game, you know, Zenyatta's like, oh, like, how can I help you? Does Zenyatta not realize this guy's a terrorist? But anyway. So, yeah, Nalza Sector is kidnapping Omnix for who knows what. It's up to the new Overwatch team to find out what their plans are and put a stop to them. But they'll need help from past allies and new faces alike if they hope to stand a chance. So another concern I have, and this is more just like, you know, a baseless little accusation here, but they're focusing on Null Sector right now. I hope this is just the beginning. I hope we don't spend too long on Null Sector in the story. I mean, then again, I hope Overwatch, you know, doesn't straight out die and we get no story. But I do hope that we go into other parts of the lore, especially the Iris and like more of the Omnic stuff. I mean, you know, Null Sector is technically Omnic, but I really want to go into like the whole Iris thing and, and um, the AI, I believe it's Anubis or and maybe it's on the map and it was i forget but i know there's like ai that control or not control but like give sentience to the omnics i believe i'm not too familiar with the overwatch but there's a lot of other facets in the lore that they can go over that i hope they do i hope they don't stick on null sector but anyway uh let's see an overwatch 2 invasion which i still don't know when this is uh you and your friends can take th on three action-packed missions that take place in rio de janeiro toronto and gothenburg massive maps with complex objectives so massive maps i don't really you know I i'm not really going to say anything with that they're probably pretty big but complex objectives is what i question because even with the pve when they were advertising the pve they said you know they said basically it was like the holy grail it was solving the problem of infinitely replayable gameplay where they said it wasn't going to be boring you're going to want to replay it forever which you know is a very bold claim and it's one i didn't believe and one of the nails in the coffin for me that really made me doubt them was when they were trying to back up their claim on how every game is going to be different with the PvE, or with the old PvE, they showed you pushing an objective in King's Row. And then they showed, okay, what might happen is it'll either go right or it'll go left. And I was like, are you serious? Is that it? It could go down one alley or it could go down the street? Like, okay, there's really no difference at that point. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I guess the scenery's a little different. We're going in the back alley where people fuck each other, but who who really cares? But anyway, you know, uh, we'll see with that claim. And an in-depth storyline that will guide you along the way. So again, we'll also see on the story, because from the trailer alone, uh, I wasn't feeling it. They'll fight against the intensified forces of Null Sector, hopefully new enemies, who will continue to attack until you've completely dismantled them. Stay alert for challenging enemies that haven't been encountered before. Okay, so we are getting new enemies. Such as the powerful artillery and deadly stalkers. So, I don't... I mean... See, this is the problem. I haven't played, like, the Overwatch events in so long. I feel like there was an enemy called the stalker, but I might be wrong. But even then, even though these might be new, they don't sound too creative. But, you know, three years. Three years, they had to work on this shit. They're actually even more. Uh, you can get started on your missions to save the world with Overwatch 2 Invasion Bundle for $15. Wait, is that the ultimate thing? It's only $15? If that includes the Battle Pass 2, that's honestly not a bad deal, but what else does it include? Access to the Overwatch 2 Invasion story missions during the season and permanently after. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Let me keep going. So, you get the invasion missions, you get the equivalent of the battle pass and coins, you get a Sojourn Legendary, which is $19 in value, and then permanent access to Sojourn if you don't have her yet. Interesting. And you don't even get her outright, you have to complete story missions. So, I have a big fear here. So, they're very ambiguous with this, and they might answer my question immediately right after, but... I have a sneaking, sneaking suspicion that the Overwatch 2 Invasion Bundle is the only way to, to play the story in one of two ways. Either A, permanently forever, or B, at all. So in the first scenario, it sounds like if you buy the, the Invasion Bundle, you can play the story missions, you know, no matter what season it is. And it feels like maybe for free-to-play players, you will only be able to play it during the season. So let's just say you get into a coma or you're busy with school or something happens and you can't play the season. And if you don't buy this bundle, one route might be, oh, you just can never play it again. Unless maybe you buy the bundle after the fact, which if that's the case, Blizzard are, are sick evil geniuses. 
like oh you want to experience our story that you know you missed out on pay money like if you're there for it it might be free but if you missed it pay money that's one of the routes the other route is you just might have to pay money just in general like even if you're free to play during the season you still might not get it both of these paths are not good both of them are not good already we had the whole fiasco with overwatch pv not coming out not being promised what it is and us getting led by the tails right we had this whole problem and on top of that the pve was supposed to be paid for i've advocated in my other reaction videos that they should make and i hope they would make the new whatever the new pve is free if they're not making it free and they're still making you pay for this shit this is horrible this is this is crap no like no one should buy this i mean people will but no one should and then you know the the best scenario out of all this out of the scenarios i mentioned is the scenario of okay it's free for the season you know free to play or pay to win it's free right like you can access it it's just afterward you can keep playing it or play it again or play for the first time after the season if you can pay that's the worst or the best slash worst scenario it's the best because at least free to play players can enjoy it while it's here although they have a time limit but at the end of the day they're still locking it behind a paywall for story like i think they've upset the community so much this is such a wrong move this is so greedy overwatch is so greedy. it's like they don't make enough money from the shop and i believe this is completely anecdotal here but I believe I've seen evidence and I've heard evidence of the Overwatch 2 shop and their new monetization as bad as Overwatch 1 players like to scream of how it is and we want loot boxes back. The new system in Overwatch 2 is making Blizzard money. So if it's making Blizzard money, obviously I don't know how much specifically, but it sounds like it's doing good enough to where I feel like this is just overly greedy. Like look at a game like No Man's Sky. I'll use No Man's Sky as the example. That game came out like a piece of shit. Everyone hated it. It cost the guy his house, his almost almost his whole livelihood, his like, you know, whole uh, online image. They, they definitely dragged that through the mud. Ed Murray. I see. I even remember his name because it was so vilified from what No Man's Sky was. But they have turned that thing completely 180 around and they have made that game into a gem. And they consistently still update it for free. And the game goes on sale. The game's not even that expensive. It goes on sale. You pay once for it. Everything else is free. Which is what I wish Overwatch 1, you know, still was in Overwatch 2. It had the initial price tag, or maybe it went free to play, but they give you everything for free and they offer you the cash shop. But that's it. Like, all the actual content that's not cosmetic, like story, they give you for free, and they should. This is a load of horseshit, because, again, I can only see those two methods. The third method, which I can't imagine, right? Because especially with the wording here, during the season and permanently after, there's no way they give away the story mission for free. These story missions for free maybe they'll give one for free and the other two they'll lock behind the paywall that's another option i could see but there's no way unless you buy this bundle or unless you're there for the season those are the only two options i see of how this is going to work for players so it's either play it while it's there if you can if that's what they allow or buy it and play it whenever this is fucking horse shit like i really hope that's not the case but it's 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 like it's fucking blizzard it's crazy anyway the Overwatch 2 Invasion Bundle is intended to give new players and veteran players alike the opportunity to explore this brand new story arc while they rob you blind, while giving them the additional coins to unlock the premium battle pass or to buy cosmetic content for their favorite hero, if your favorite hero is Sojourn. Um, you can also upgrade to the Overwatch 2 Ultimate Invasion Bundle. For 40 US dollars, you will have access to, let's hear this bullcrap, the Null Sector Premium Pass with 20 Battle Pass skips. So they're not even giving you, like, more currency for a future battle. But actually, let me read the rest because I think I see it here. An additional 1,000 coins for two Battle Pass worth of, of currency and two additional Legendary Skins for Cassidy and Kirigo. And how much, how much do you want to bet that those skins might be offered in the shop later down the line? How much you want to bet? This is bullshit. This is honestly bullcrap. First of all, this thing is stupid. Anytime they give you battle pass tier skips is fucking dumb because you could buy those on your own. Instead of doing that, why don't they give you 5,000 worth of Overwatch coins, which should be $50 worth, instead of giving you $30 worth of battle pass skips. That way you can skip the battle pass if you want to, or you could buy more battle passes. But you know what? That would make too much sense. 
for the consumer, not for the business. So they're not going to do that. More and more I'm reading this, the more and more this is bullcrap. Anyway, all new co-op event. In addition to story missions, you'll be able to take part in a new bonus co-op mission on King's Row. Explore all new areas of King's Row map as you got a well-armed TS1 push bot. Excuse me, so it's nothing new. It's literally just taking push game mode. On a mission to save Iggy and the rest of the Omnic Underworld from Null Sector. So I guess this might be the free-to-play one. This might be for all the plebeians who don't buy the, um, what do they call it here? The invasion bundle or the ultimate invasion bundle. If you don't buy that, you get the shitty free one. Uh, you know, have fun. Oh my god. And then it's Null Sector enemies that may somehow feel familiar. Who gives a shit? No, it's not even going to be the new enemies. They're saving the new enemies for the story missions which you might have to buy. Like, you might not even be able to free-to-play those. What the fuck? So they're giving, I mean, you know, what's, what else is new, right? But they're giving free-to-play players the shit. Teams will fight for control of key positions across the map called Flashpoints, aiming to capture three of them before their opponents do. Oh, so this is for the multiplayer. Oh, fuck, I skipped the whole paragraph. My bad. Um, turning up the competition with Flashpoints. So this is the new game mode. And it's a core game mode. You don't have to pay for this one, thankfully. But, uh, you know, let me hold my tongue so we, we can really make sure that's true. Also launching with Overwatch 2 Invasion is Flashpoint, a whole new PvP core game mode available for all players. Okay, cool. In quick play or in competitive. Thank God. Thank God we're getting a new mode finally. This mode will feature two new locales that are Overwatch 2's biggest PvP maps to date. Interesting. Teams will fight for control of key positions across the map called Flashpoints, aiming to capture three of them before their opponents do. So what is it, Domination? You'll have no time to relax once a point is captured, as the next one will always be will already be waiting. Not only will this mode test your mechanical skills, but also your ability to plan ahead. Stopping a punch from moving on the next flashpoint will be a huge victory. So either A, this is like incremental capture the flag, but both teams are fighting over like the flags, or I guess capture the points. So it's very similar in that sense to um to a war from call of duty if there's any like old boomers in here who like used to play world at war i believe the game was called war but i don't remember but basically you like capture a flag and then you can capture the next one but the enemy has to capture the one you just captured like you have to fight like a tug of war sort of thing it's actually a really good game mode not gonna lie but it's a good game mode in call of duty i don't know how good it's gonna be in, in overwatch 2 if that's what they're planning to do if that's the route um or it literally could just be capture the flag or capture the point and then you know it's like king of the hill sort of who knows who knows uh interesting offering new ways to master your skills finally we're introducing a new way to play and practice with your favorite heroes with new mystery or sorry new hero mastery mode these engaging training courses are specifically designed for each selected hero testing your skills with their abilities hero mastery will also feature global leaderboards to showcase the top performing hero masters across the world so it's basically just like a testing range but you can earn score in overwatch 2 invasion will be launching the first courses for a selection of heroes so not even every hero with more to come in future seasons oh boy i hope we don't have to pay for those right the practice range also gets its first major update this season with brand new firing range to hone your aim with any hero i wonder if this is actually going to be good because this is something the community already pretty much solved in um in the or, or not arcade and um custom games there's custom maps that people have made that are really good aim training simulators so i don't know if overwatch's thing is going to compare to those but we'll see I, I'm, I'm assuming it won't both of these updates will be available for all players starting august 10th wait so june we're in june july august wait a minute so it is going to be Season 6. So they're talking about Season 6 right now. So are we just skipping over Season 5? Is Season 5 really in their eyes just the filler season? I think it is. Um, okay, so new to Overwatch 2. If you're new to Overwatch 2, uh, if you're new to our universe and looking to jump into PvP fray, you'll be able to jump in with the Overwatch 2 Hero Collection, another way they can make money. And it's for $5. This starter bundle includes all of our Legacy Heroes, three Legacy Epic Skins, 1500 overwatch credits to purchase any of the old hero skins so it's not even stuff you could buy the battle pass with but again it is five dollars so that would be a steal if you could buy the battle pass with that 
Uh, you can also choose to unlock all of the above, plus the six heroes new to Overwatch 2, Sojourn, Junker Queen, Kiriko, Ramatra, Life Weaver, and the new support hero coming August 10th. With the Overwatch 2 complete... Oh, okay, I was going to say, for $5, this is an amazing deal, but, you know, leave it to Blizzard to shit on that, too. The complete hero collection for 20 you also receive a thousand overwatch coins okay cool and then three legacy legendary skins dude it is just th this whole article is littered with hey we just want to sell you stuff like okay this is what it is you get a taste if you want anything of value pay us money that's all this is anyway uh there's a lot coming when overwatch 2 invasion launches on august 10th so this is season six We'll be showing gameplay for much of this new content later this summer, including doing the Overwatch 2 Invasion Reveal livestream. I feel like that thing is going to just get, like, hate-bombed. Like, that thing is probably going to be one of the hardest things Overwatch is going to do, because I feel like people are just going to come in with a vengeance after everything that just happened. Like, not even with just PvE, but also with, like, what they're saying here, how much they want to just monetize everything. This shit is actually crazy. Anyway... Um, so that's going to be on June 21st. Follow us at Play Overwatch on Twitter for more updates. Don't forget to keep an eye out for updates on our newest Hero 2, which we'll shine more light on in the future. Log on to Overwatch 2 starting June 13th, which is today, for Season 5, and featuring a new Mythic skin for Tracer, which we reacted to, available in the Premium Battle Pass, which I'm probably going to buy if it's good, but I'm going to make a reaction to that after this along with new game modes and seasonal events for everyone to play. So they just mentioned briefly Season 5 here. They're like, oh yeah, and we still have Season 5 coming. So it's exactly what I said at the beginning. Season 5 is just like the filler season to get to Season 6, where, you know, Overwatch team hopes to save Overwatch with this huge, amazing update, which I, I don't know if it's going to do that. We'll also be having what's to come in Season 5 and another blog tomorrow. I don't even know if I want to react to that too, but... And there's a picture of the new hero. So originally, I thought this was a Egyptian character because of the whole sun motif and the way their uh, thing looks, their little weapon here. And I thought it was a girl, but Jalik told me this was a guy, but I honestly believe it's a girl, but I honestly don't know. But anyway, yeah, this is, um, this is our most exciting season yet. Overwatch 2 Invasion of Your Wallet. That's basically what this was like in totality they're invading your wallet that's all this is they have all these good stuff coming but they always are attaching it in some way shape or form to a price tag i'm honestly baffled like if all these were free you know how good this would be i mean it wouldn't be anything to make up for what what happened with pv but it would be a step in the right direction but the fact that they're just trying to just advertise to you to get your money for stuff like bruh they should give this shit for free as a sorry to us well, not to me, because I, again, like I said in the other videos, I don't really care about PV, but this is actually insane. I'm actually like astonished and a little disgusted. Overwatch 2 Invasion of the Wallet is coming, and you know, I hope we're all ready. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this reaction. If there's anything else you guys want me to react to, please tell me below. And I stream every day at Twitch TV slash Technics channel. You can catch me there and hang out. Hope you enjoyed.